Hi, I'm Dawn here at the Aniston Museum of Natural History with our ambassador animal here, Dee Dee. She is a rat snake, so they're super common in Alabama, probably your most likely to find outside. Um, here in Alabama, we have 49 different species of snakes, which is a very high number compared to a lot of other states. Um, but out of that 49, only six are venomous. Um, unfortunately, our friend here gets mistaken for venomous snakes fairly often. Um, she can resemble some of our rattlesnakes and people get scared, um, but she also makes a rattle with her tail. So they will sit in leaf litter, similar to what we have kind of behind us here, and they'll rattle their tail and make a loud sound, um, and that is to ward off predators um, like ourselves. So most people don't think of us as predators of snakes, but we're a lot bigger than them and they don't like us, and unfortunately, people don't like them very much. Um, but if you hear that rattle out in the woods while you're walking around, um, just kind of locate your sound, figure out where it's coming from, and walk away slowly and leave it alone, because if you don't know how to identify snakes, then you're probably not going to be able to figure out what that actually is um, in a safe manner. So, Dee Dee here, she is a rat snake, so obviously that means she eats a lot of rats. So this is probably our best uh, rodent control in the state. Um, she eats rats, birds, eggs. A lot of people also call them chicken snakes, so you can find these in your chicken coops. Um, she's a pretty good size one, so she is a full grown adult, but they can get a little bit bigger than this. Um, they can get up to six feet, but that is a very, very large rat snake. Um, as otherwise, she is also what's considered arboreal, which means that they can climb trees. So uh, more common than not, you'll find them up in trees like these ones here, or up in rafters of buildings or various other places. They're not really fans of people, but they're also one of our more um, likely to be around people snakes, and that's because they follow their food source. So rats like people, rats like our food, and they like rats, so that's where we get them from. Um, so these guys are super, super useful for our population um, in terms of killing off rats that eat our food. Um, I know they also like eggs, and some people don't like that about them, but, you know, gotta give them treats every now and then for uh, ooh, she just musked on me. <laughs> um, so they also musk, that's a defense mechanism, um, and it's really smelly, so they basically just open their cloacas and they release a nasty smell, so if you smell that when you pick up a snake, she just pooped on you. Um, but that also brings me to another point. If you don't know what it is, um, don't pick up wild snakes. She's obviously um, our ambassador animal, she's super sweet. Um, we actually got her because someone thought she was a rattlesnake, and then Turns out she was just this little thing. Um, but we kind of urge that if you do find a snake in the wild, just leave it alone, let it be, let it do its thing, um, because they're really important to our ecosystem and not necessarily to being in your hands. So 